And hello there! I'm Funky Monkey, and what better cure for the Monday blues than another episode of Funky Monkey at the Movies? Isn't that right, my nameless producer? Yeah, sure. And today, we've just been to see Spider-Man Far From Home. And... It was another rollicking roller coaster ride in the mighty Marvel tradition. I was going to say, I thought the first half was cheesy, and then the yeah. second half was better. Mm, maybe. You know, Mysterio. Yeah, I mean, in the first half, I wondered what his, like, his deal was, what his play was, because he's a villainous character. So, so I'm, why is he playing a hero? Who, who, yeah, who does illusions, so I thought all those elementals were going to be illusions and whatnot. So, like, what was he up to? And what was the ultimate plan? But they did reel it, so... Yeah. Well, they would eventually. I was saying yeah. earlier, before we went into the movie, that not everything needs to be a mystery. No. But, yeah, why would that have been a mystery? It would kind of miss the point. Mm. <laughs> well, Mysterio. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know how much of a spoiler this is, but Night Monkey. Yeah. That wasn't the greatest. They could have gone with Tarantula or Arachnid or something. Yeah. Insector the Bugman. Yeah, something like that, maybe. But, I don't know, I don't like half of the support characters. Mary Jane's too weird. She just doesn't seem like the Mary Jane that she should be. It's not your father's MJ. Has this weird fascination with, like, murders and death and stuff, and it's just weird. And Flash Thompson, just, he doesn't come across as the body type. He just seems more like uh, an over-self-conscious braggart, perhaps. Yeah. Well, no, we just, he was always supposed to be a physically intimidating body, and he doesn't seem like the physically intimidating type. I'll be honest, I don't have too much to say about it. I thought the first half was cheesy, but the second half was good. I don't like some of the ancillary characters. Like MJ, I don't think she's portrayed right. Uh, Flash, I don't think he's portrayed right. Some of the others are okay. I thought the Iron Spider suit didn't look right at the beginning either. You know, when he was at that fundraiser thing? Yeah. He just looked really off compared to how he did on the Avengers. I don't know if they changed special effect people or something. I noticed it was wet and digital at the end of this one. I don't know if it was in the Avengers. Or maybe they just had less budget in this or something. Oh, maybe, maybe. Well, if you don't have anything else to say. Well, I did think um, Mysterio turned out to be a reasonably good villain, though, because he had kind of motivation. You could see that he was kind of overlooked and Tony Stark had taken advantage of his stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and he was trying to, in his own way, trying to do something for the world. He was, he was. Yeah. But, you know, this was not the way to go about it. Nope. And definitely killing anyone who tries to reveal your secret is never a good look. No, indeed. Yeah. Or if killing you get people wrong... to bulk out his look kind of thing, how he was going to injure and kill people to make it look like an Avengers level threat. Yeah. Come clean. Use your technology for a better idea. Yeah. I didn't think J.K. Simmons looked right for J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, Jameson's. spoiler. Massive spoiler. It's not that much of a spoiler. J. Jonah Jameson turns at the end. Uh-huh. I don't think J.K. Simmons looks right for him anymore, either. With the boldness, it just kind of ruined the look, I think. Oh, yeah. You know, people are coming into this fresh now. This isn't just for comic book nerds anymore. But it was still kind of a fun movie, even ignoring the first half that was cheesy. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it was interesting them playing with the idea of how he was becoming a reluctant hero and how he didn't want to become the next Tony Stark. And now he may never get the chance, but that's a massive spoiler. Yeah. Which we won't reveal here. <laughs> okay, then. But what I want to say, uh-huh. again... Uh-huh. The main didn't. The main hero and the main villain didn't actually get to it, and uh, Mysterio didn't actually get a fist in his fat face. Yeah, can't always be about fighting each other. Remember what they said in Unbreakable, where they thought that there were two kinds of villains: one that fights a villain with his like his strength, 
the one that fights the villain with his mind. Fights a hero with his strength or mind. Yeah, that. I know, he's just frustrating for me. I want to see villains getting punched in the face, man. They're villains. That's what they're for. Yeah, well, that's kind of like a one-dimensional view of these characters, isn't it, really? You know? Yeah, well, he wanted to kill millions of people. He deserved to at least get a punch in the face. Well, he didn't really want to kill millions of people. He just thought it was necessary for his plan to save billions of people. Night Templar. Fist in the face. Punch in the face. But let's get back to something that doesn't show me up for a barbarian. Yep. The music. Was okay. Are they using the same kind of Spider-Man-ish theme as last time? Yeah. Because I didn't notice. Yeah, they had a few bits of the previous music. Who I wouldn't have said it was bad, or also I wouldn't have said it was good. It was not particularly very inspired. Just the whole poppy thing, this time <coughs> around, I really don't think that it worked. Mm. Uh-huh. Final score, thoughts, final thoughts, score and ladder. It just kind of was a time passing one. I wasn't particularly inspired by it, but I wouldn't have said it was bad. And I'd probably give it a. Six slash maybe seven because you know the production was fine in general. I mean, I didn't think the uh, the suit at the beginning looked very good, but the rest was okay. You know, and the music was okay, the acting was okay. Jack Gillen was a good villain and had us all fooled. Yeah. Six or a seven out of ten. Then. Yeah. Plenty of action, but a lot of awkward moments as well. Mid-credits and end-credits scenes make up for a lot of it. Without them, maybe a five, but with the mid-credits and end-credits, and a bump it up to a seven. Right. Ladder! So, I'm still going to go end-game, Shazam, maybe, and then Spider-Man, and then Dark Phoenix, and then Captain Marvel. I'm going Infinity Saga. I told you that I was going to do it. Uh-huh. Captain Marvel. I'm going to put this one above Shazam. Uh-huh. So that's after Captain Marvel. It's far from home, then Shazam, and Dark Phoenix at the bottom. Right. And it was a bit dull. It's not a terrible movie, but Dark Phoenix is not up to a lot of the other ones' standards. No, that's right. right. So we're running out of road. This has been Funky Monkey and his name is Producer. Links are below. Do all the things. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you at the movies. Bye.